All right, hello everyone. So we just updated the registration process for Atomy USA. So I'm gonna go through three different parts. Uh, the first one, how to register as a consumer, how to register as a business, and how to change your current membership to business status, okay? So we're gonna be talking about those. And in order for us to get started, we are going to need you to go to the website. So if you're interested in registering, um, follow these steps and I will show you how. So you're gonna go to the website, it's gonna be atomy.com backslash US backslash home. Okay, so you can just do backslash US and it'll take you there, or you can Google um, Atomy USA and it'll take you to the US website. So you'll know you're on the US website uh, when you go to the top here, it'll say Atomy US. Okay, it'll say Atomy US right here. And then you're gonna click the Join Us button here, okay? And once you click the Join Us button, you're going to have to log in. And in order for you to log in, you're gonna need a ID and password, okay? You're gonna need a ID and password. And how do you get a ID and password? Well, you're going to have to contact somebody who has an ID and password, who's already a member. So if you don't have an ID right now and you wanna get started, um, you can always register with the person who contacted you or you can contact me and you can contact me. The easiest way is go to Coach Jew at YouTube, um, that's probably how you're watching this video right now, and click on the LinkedIn here, okay? You'll be able to click the link tree here, and when you click that, it's gonna bring you to the next page, and you're gonna click on Contact Coach Jew, and you can message me there, okay? You can message me on WhatsApp, you can message me on Instagram, so this is gonna pop up, okay? I don't answer um, messages on Facebook and stuff though, okay? So just on WhatsApp, you can also message me on Kakao or you can message me on Instagram, okay? So any of those. So you can click on the link and follow those, okay? Well, anyways, so when we go here, you get the information, you're going to log in. And once you log in, it's going to go through the steps of are you going to be a consumer or are you going to be a distributor, okay? And then the other one here is the global ID. Now the global ID is for anyone wanting to register as a consumer who is not a US resident, okay? So that'll take you to a whole new website and you can register there. There's 55 different countries that you can register in, okay? But for US members, so individuals who can legally pay taxes in the US, this is who this is for, okay? So once you go there, you're going to just say okay to all the um, agreements here, okay? You're gonna click on all the agreements, say okay, okay. And then you're going to put in your mobile device, okay? So your mobile number, and then you're going to get a verification code, and then you verify, and then you go to the next steps. The next steps, personal information, okay? So for the personal information, I always, ask individuals to make sure that it is the name as it appears on your legal documents, okay? It must be the same, okay? So put that in, you're gonna put your password in, and then you're gonna put your guest password in, okay? And as you put all these things in, I want you to remember that the guest password, you cannot access the personal information in there. So that's why we have the two IDs, right? I mean the two passwords. So for the login step that I just talked to you about, you can give your ID to future prospects with a guest password and they can log in and register as your member. So that's why the guest password is in there for anybody who was asking, okay? So once you put that in, you're gonna go to the next step, and this is the most important, okay? So after you put in all your information, you're gonna have to put in a sponsor ID. Now the sponsor ID is simply the placement ID. Where are you going to register? Okay, so the computer needs to know, the system needs to know, where are you going to be placed? So even if I am your um, direct sponsor, so I'm sponsoring you, I wouldn't give you my ID number, I would give you the last number 
on the downline, okay, where I would like to place you, and that is where you would go, and I would still be your direct, but you would be placed in the last position, because in Atomy, we have unlimited downline leverage, and you're able to continue to build upon members one after the other after other. And if there is nobody here in the downline, so this is empty and this is empty, that means that the computer will automatically select the left side, Okay, this side here, and an ID will be created. And next time when you register another person, if you put in this number again as the sponsor ID, then it'll tell you, okay, so your left side, you already have a person, so we're going to designate the next person on your right side, on your B side, so this side over here, okay? So that's how you add individuals. So what do you do? If you wanna add one more person, well, each ID that you create is going to create another ID number, okay? Another ID number. And you put that ID number, so if you put this person's ID number, let's say that it's 1111111, then you put that person here, put in that sponsor ID, and the ID will be created here, just like it was for this example ID, okay? So if you wanna register somebody on this side here, on this red side, then, same thing, okay? You put in that person's ID number, okay? Whether it's, let's say it's 555555555, okay? And then that person, the new person registering will be placed right here and you'll be able to see their ID, okay? So I hope that makes sense. If you need more clarity, you can uh, speak to the person uh, that is registering you and they will be able to help you out. Okay. So you put in all your information here and then you confirm the information and as soon as you confirm the information, you will be able to get a Atomy ID. So you're done. That's the consumer one. Okay. Now as the distributor, all the steps are the same. Okay. All the steps are the same. Seven verification. But now we have this part. Okay. And this is you have to put in your social security number. Okay. Or your ID. T-I-N number, and this is for what? To pay taxes, right? To make sure that you are a legal uh, tax paying uh, individual in the States. And when you put that in, in your bank information in, you get automatic billing to your, not billing, but automatic commission um, bank payout, right? Yeah, so if you have, let's say $75 in payout, they'll automatically send it to your bank, okay? So you don't have to do anything, okay? So you just have to put in the information here. So after you do all that, you'll be done. Same steps, all the steps are the same. All right, so let's say that you are now wanting to switch from consumer to distributor, okay? Uh, previous IDs prior to this video, uh, you could have registered just as a member and that member was a consumer plus business and you had to put in your paperwork uh, after but we're gonna we're splitting the two right now so we can um, designate a consumer as a consumer and a business as a business so let's say that you have one of those IDs okay what we're gonna what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go into your back office log in with your ID and password and then you're gonna click on the edit my account once you click on that it's gonna bring you to this page, and you're gonna see withdraw and change to distributor. Do not push withdraw, okay? That's gonna terminate your ID. So we're gonna click change to distributor, and once you click that, you're going to see this pop up, and you're going to verify your identification, click, click confirm, and then you're gonna go through the same process again, putting your information for your social and putting your information for your bank. And as soon as we get all that done, you push confirm and you are good to go, okay? So we can do these same steps, okay? But you can do it on your mobile phone as well. So through the app, okay? So you're gonna be clicking the same things, putting in the same information, and um, everything will be the same, okay? So you're gonna go through the details of the consumer app, and you're going to put in your mobile information and all the information that you need to end up as a consumer, okay?